Hey everyone, my name is Austin and I am the product manager for the newly released user sync add-ons. Yeah, you lost me. What's user sync? Don't worry, we'll explain it. Are you curious how you can leverage Shive's beautiful org chart feature? Do you have data stored in systems like Workday, success factors, Active Directory, internal databases, other systems? Have you ever wondered how you could build your entire employee directory inside of Jive's interactive internet? Of course you have, because you know that when the right people are connected to the right information at the right time in the right context, that they're gonna be more effective in doing their jobs, they're gonna be happier employees, and you're gonna have better business outcomes. So what's this user sync business about? Simple, it's a way to build your complete employee directory Leverage people profile data that you already have in those systems that we talked about before. Dynamically create your org chart and reuse security groups that you've defined in other systems for use in Jive's security permissioning model. Okay, that's great, but how does it work? Well, easy. The first thing that you'll do is to produce a CSV file that contains a list of all the people profiles that you want to have synchronized across into your Jive community. From there, you'll upload the file to an SFTP server, which can either be your own SFTP server, or if you prefer to use Jai's SFTP server instead, that's fine too. From there, the user sync process will run on a scheduled basis and download the file from the SFTP server, make a lookup call to your Jai community to get the configuration for the sync, and then process the necessary updates, creates, and disables, in addition to whatever org chart and security group updates you may have. The file is then logged back to the SFTP server so you have a clean record of it along with any error logs and the same error logs are also posted to email along with a result that tells you how the sync ran. Alright, now that we've learned a little bit about what the user sync is, let's take a look and see it in action. You can see here I've created a file which we're going to use as our input file which contains user details for 10 users. We have a primary ID which in this case I've used email first and last name, email address, username, whether or not the user is enabled, the ID of the manager, a list of security groups that I want to assign the user to, and then six profile fields, our title, department, location, office cube, phone number, and mobile phone number. Now that we've got the input file defined, let's go ahead and hop over to our Jive community and start to configure the add-on. So to do that, I'll click here, go to add-ons. This will bring up the add-ons page and I've already installed the advanced user sync. So I'll go to configure that, in the settings, and then configure now. And this is how you configure the advanced user sync. Here I've already specified the file name, advanced user sync demo.csv and that we're going to be looking up users by email address, which is the value that I had stored in the primary ID column of our input file. And then we've mapped the six profile fields as follows. Additionally, I've configured my email address, so I'll be notified in the event of any failure that occurs during the sync, as well as for the reports, so I can see how the sync ran on a nightly basis. Okay, this looks good. Let's go ahead and save. Now let's hop over to our people directory and take a look and see what we're starting with. Here you can see I've already set up a number of users, including Bill Jackson, the VP of Information Technology. Unfortunately, Bill's leaving the company, so we're going to need to deactivate his account. However, for Aaron Mathis, that represents an opportunity as he's being promoted to the VP of Information Technology position, reporting directly to the CEO. So let's go ahead and make some changes. We're going to disable Bill. Change Aaron's title. And make sure that he's reporting directly to the CEO instead of Bill. Additionally, Aaron's also earned his MCSE and we have a profile field for certifications. So let's go ahead and add that in. Okay, we've saved. 
Now let's go back to our community, into the add-on configuration, and we're going to need to add the new profile field. So I've already defined this in the system. It's called certifications. And I can save. Great. Now we're ready to run the sync. But first, we have to upload the file. I'll take my file, move it across into my SFTP server, and now I'll go manually invoke the sync. Normally this would run on a scheduled basis that you would set up at the time of your engagement. Our sync completed successfully and I got an email report telling me how the sync ran, which indicates that we had 10 users updated as well as one user that was disabled, Bill. If we hop back over to our community, we can also see in our updated people directory that Bill no longer shows in the results. And if we navigated directly to Bill's profile, we see that he's deactivated. This means that he'll no longer show in any of the search results. Going back to the people directory, we can take a look at Aaron's account. We see that his title has changed to VP of Information Technology. The data that we added for certifications for his MCSE is now on his profile. And if we scroll down to the org chart, we see that he's reporting directly to the CEO. If we go over to the admin console, we can additionally see if we go into the manage user groups and check out administrators, that Aaron is added to this group, as well as the IT group, as we specified in the file. So that's it. Thanks again for listening. And of course, if you have questions, please just scroll down. Below the video, there's a set of links to our community blog posts, fact sheet, and documentation. And if there's any questions that can't be answered there, please reach out to your sales rep and they can help you with those questions as well as any information on pricing. Have a great day and jive on.